started. We'll see um, how long it takes the other people. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. So let's get ready to rumble. Alright everyone, welcome to the semifinals of Ready Steady Pan. I am Kip here with 21 the Bearded Wonder. 21, how are you doing today? I am doing fantastic and I cannot wait to see this pan match. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I I definitely agree. Now you have some pan experience. Why don't you share your expert experience with us? Um <laughs> what, you, what, you, what you have to do is you have to run up and then you gotta swing the frying pan, but not miss. Hmm. That's really bad. Missing nobody <laughs> nobody yeah, alright, that makes sense. Yeah, it's 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 pretty simple. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so let's real quick go over the rules. The pan, of course, is the only damage dealing weapon in this game, but you can use obviously other weapons. Like, uh, no, you play demo, right? What was your demo loadout? Uh, I used the boots in the Stiggy Jumper, but I'm not very good at jumping, so that was a little sketchy. But it, that's that's the way to go for your demo. But uh, the blue team might actually have a pyro, which is interesting. Yeah, now the Pyro, um, of course, you don't have any of the ad added advantages of uh, the like the Sniper. You don't have the Jurati. You don't have the Mad Milk of the Scout. Um, so why, in your opinion, would anyone go Pyro in Ready, Steady, Pan? It, it just seems like sometimes when you're rushing the point, you you need the extra health. Because the, the Pyro can take more hits than the Scout, and sometimes that will win you, like, the middle point. That's what it's all about, especially in Cobb. It's just mm -hmm. have to have a point. <laughs> Yeah, especially this Pyro has an amazing hat, so I am not questioning the choice to run Ooh. Pyro here. <laughs> that and is snazzy. <laughs> just gonna post... Oh, my God. oh, what did I have? I had info on the team and stuff. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and post um, in chat the link right there. But uh, the teams today will be Bit Trippers and In Your Pans, two of uh, the top <laughs> pan teams. Uh, not something you hear a lot, but... Uh, definitely is happening right now is the semifinals whoever wins this i believe will go on to the final finals next week and that map is drum roll while i look it up that would be viaduct <laughs> so it's funny they're playing uh pan or they're playing viaduct in pan and also uh in actual ugc matches and stuff i just realized i have the wrong screen up so you can't see the awesomeness that is going on all right that's perfect. <laughs> Just put like a black screen and everyone will watch it like, this is amazing. It's Radio TF2. But no, now we have a visual and we have visual of Bob77s uh, with a skirt. <laughs> He's looking and uh, the peg leg. All right, so let's go over the other uh, weapons that are allowed. All right, so um, Sticky Jumper, Rocket Jumper. And that is pretty much it in terms of shooting things, right? Shooty things? Pretty much. Besides that, it's like... The bonk, the mad milk, the criticola, that kind of thing, the gerati. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else would be in there. You could put the rocket. I guess you could put on gunboats. Some people do that. I know one of our soldiers did because he didn't want to accidentally switch. So. I'm going to go ahead and go over the whitelist. I have it pulled up right here. So, the whitelist things that are allowed bonk, atomic punch, criticola, mad milk, rocket jumper, sticky jumper, gunboats, the bootlegger, Alibaba's wee booties, gerati, frying pan, and the machina, the machina, to prevent accidental discharge of the sniper's primary. So that's interesting. Um, of course, you can't shoot it, of course. And as for the classes allowed, you can have two scouts, two soldiers, two pyros, two demo man, and one sniper, or a combination thereof. No heavies, no NGs, no medics, and no spies, which is very sad to me. I feel yeah, like it, an NG it would be could bring great to see the medic. <laughs> <laughs> NG could bring absolutely nothing to the party, but I still feel like they're not invited. So that's I I, I like be, at least being invited to the party, and then anyway, uh, flashbacks <laughs> to high school. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, ready, steady, pan. <laughs> Just making sure uh, anyone uh, people who are watching. Just want to make sure levels, uh, sound levels and everything are alright. I apologize about the HUD. I uh, had to reinstall, and I, apparently I reinstalled the last version, but we had to go live. the Not the le latest version, so we had to go live, but whatever. I think you get all the info you need. Somebody needs the STV? I uh, don't know what's going on. But anyway, I, let's... They're, <laughs> they're just discussing. It's, <laughs> now it you... hasn't started yet. <laughs> Now I played, or I casted your Ready Steady Pan when you are were on Viaduct, correct? 
Yeah, exactly. It was. I think it was the very first uh, match of the season. And how does King of the Hill differ from? They've also played um, Badlands. They've also they played Badlands backwards, which is Sinaldenes Bat Dab, okay. uh, which is really trippy. Have you looked at it, that map? It is. It is painful. I played on that. Oh my like, god. Anyone who's played a lot of Badlands, which is everybody at this point, you get Pretty to that much. map and your eyes are just terrible. No, it's <laughs> oh, no. ridiculous. Uh, and some other maps they've played uh, in the season: Foundry, Yukon Final, Five Gorge, Arctic Process, Gravel Pit, Junction, Gully Wash was last week. Then Lakeside this to this week, and Pro Viaduct will be next week. So you got it's pretty much five CP and uh, and King of the Hill right there. Um, how, what's the difference in terms of uh, strategy in terms uh, of five uh, CP versus King of the Hill? Well, King of the Hill just seems like it's mostly about kind of how your team sets up at the middle point. I mean, it's you have to like single people out, and sometimes you can have somebody jump ahead and try to kill the sniper before it can get out. That way, there's no Girati. And it's just mostly about just trying to control the middle point as much as possible. Like the scouts need to get as many people with their milk as possible, and not throw it at the same time. Stuff like that. Where five CP is kind of it's it's whoever wins the middle point has a really big advantage because then you always have the threat of like once you have start going to like the spire for example the bad ones badlands it was just the constant threat of back caps and you have all these classes that are really slow but can jump and it's just the scouts were furious on that it was, ugh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So what do you think is going to be, like, uh, the big deal for Lakeside? I'm thinking the pool room or control of the health pack is going to be huge in this because, of course, no medics, uh, no healing except uh, whatever the med milk can bring you. And uh, Lakeside is pretty sparse in terms of heal packs. You do have the uh, small one over here on the sniper deck, but then the big one is pretty much it in the pool house. So do you see... Uh, uh, um... I'm sorry for interrupting. I think it's really going to be the pool house is going to be the main focus. But if a team spends is in there for too long, the other team can just kind of roll onto the point. And I feel like that's how a lot of engagements are going to pan out. They just <laughs> oh, that is pan oh number that's pan pun begins. number one. I'm going to keep a li I'm going to keep a tally mark. So uh, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, it's it's all going to be about the pond. I think. And I'm, I'm expecting to see a lot of people get chased down and, like, killed going for those side health packs, which I think will be fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, should be very, very interesting. Now, it looks like we do have all of In Your Pants here. This is Red Team, and then we're waiting for Bit uh, Blue Team. So, Bit players, if you're watching, get in there. We are three minutes late. Come on. Uh, <laughs> which is actually still pretty much on time before TF2 time. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I was going to ask something else about King of the Hill. I don't remember. I had something to say. <laughs> Do you remember really it? Wanna yeah. All right. <laughs> I really want to see the scouts on this team. I'm just waiting for, like, a demo man or somebody to go on the point, take a lot of damage, and then just see a scout bum rush after them as they run to the health. It's just like the dog from the Sandlot. <laughs> What? Have you seen that movie? Yes, I've seen that movie. The best chase scene <laughs> in history. <laughs> That's oh. what it's gonna be like. You're just gonna see a devil man like running for their lives, and the scouts are both gonna chase him down. Oh man, yeah, I, I don't envy anybody playing this uh, this match right now. Now uh, I've heard it said that uh, pan matches can get kind of like uh, tedious. Um, how do you overcome that, or is that a factor ever when you're playing? Uh, it, it can get kind of obnoxious on this 5 CP maps, really, because you keep on trying to push and you can't because somebody goes back and you have to jump back and stop the back cap and it just keeps them flip-flopping. Where King of the Hill is a little bit easier. It usually goes a lot quicker, but it's still a really long time only hitting people in TF2, so... <laughs> the, the main thing is just, like, you have to have fun with your team. If, you, if you're not enjoying it, then it takes forever. But if you're just shouting and being an idiot, then it's great. Yeah. 
I agree. There was some controversy on UG forums a couple a month or so ago that some people were taking the pan thing, uh, the pan tournament so seriously that they were like engaging at mid, but then falling back when they needed health, and just the matches were lasting forever or whatever on 5 CP. And like, uh, you, you got to take it somewhat seriously. There's strategy involved if you want to win, but the, on the other level, this is. It's pans. It's hilarious, and you have to have fun with this. Otherwise, you're missing the point. Um, <laughs> which I think, you know, with invite and ESCA and ETF2L, we we take TF2 competitive pretty seriously, um, and it's fun to just get over ourselves sometimes and you bring out the pans because <laughs> they're pans. Why are there pans in this competitive? Or well, it's obviously not made to be competitive <laughs> game, but this game, I, I think we should have. Oh, my, this is my idea of the next like uh, specialty tournament is Flog Pyros, but um, <laughs> M1 is bound to, uh, to plus forward. So it's just, you can only use one hand, and you're constantly spraying fire and constantly going forward. Huh. That would be interesting. Wouldn't it? No taunting, because then, uh, yeah. That, that, that takes away the ridiculous. No, ridiculous. The one hand it. almost sounds as bad as, like, trying to use a trackpad from a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> like... If anyone has ever had to do that in play TF2, I feel for you. I tried it a while back. It was... <laughs> but uh, it, it looks like we're starting to get some people in here. I think we just got Pulse joining, so... Awesome. Very, very cool. Now, let's think of other tournament things. Um, I think we should have a fish tournament where it's just all scouts and only fish. Or the holy mackerel, excuse me. I would want to see an, a one-class-only tournament where... You can be any class you want, but everyone on your team has to be that, so one team would go all heavy and the other team would go all demo man or something to try to counter, you know? Sounds like some pubs I've done, where <laughs> we get coordinated. Oh my god. Uh, of course, there is my, the, my... <laughs> there is the oh, um, <laughs> Texas Wrangler Massacre, where it's a team of Wrangler engineers versus a Highlander team, except with two demos. One is a demo night and one is a regular demo. And that's... Never goes the NG's way. It's I played in that last last time, and it, there's another uh, another version or another season, whatever, coming up soon in a couple of weeks. But it is just painful. There's something to be said about different classes for TF2, and that something is a lot to be said. <laughs> you have to admit, though, if if you think about it, imagine an only demo night. <laughs> that would be that would be possibly the most amazing thing ever invented. <laughs> oh man, or oh, Market Gardener Soldiers again? That oh, just uh, somebody's trying to ask about the actual match, and we're just going off on this. But oh, well. this is the semifinals, so that means whoever wins this will go on to the finals next week um, to Pro Viaduct. And I' gonna go ahead and say I'll cast that <laughs> if I'm allowed. Uh, first, shout out to Pastry Rock who organized this season of Ready Sleep Pan and asked me to cast this. Um, so Ooh. awesome work! Yeah, woo in woo indeed, because uh, it was originally. Um, Ready to Pan was an invention of the Europeans. Uh, Smits from Kutri Harder, Euro uh, UGC Highlander team, kind of made this up and took control of it first season. And it was uh, more more European, and I did some coverage of that. But then um, Pastry Rock took it over this season because uh, Smits was like, no thanks. <laughs> um, and Pastry Rock has made it truly American, uh, so or North American, whatever. So anyway, so big shout out to Pastry Rock. Um, and I'm glad to be a part of this. I, I, I'm just enjoying the irony of the person who I first made up with, because his team name was Could Try Harder. <laughs> and that's like, that's as far on the other spectrum as you can go. Uh, oh, unfortunately, Could Try Harder is, uh, they retired or they dismantled. They're one of my top favorite Euro Highlander teams. Um, but yeah, uh, have you heard about the medals for this season? Uh, I heard a little bit about it, but go mm. ahead and fill me in. Oh, I don't know. I was that was a genuine question. Uh, <laughs> uh, last I, season, I heard something like they didn't have enough medals, or they hmm. something like I don't that know. That sounds like a catastrophe. There's, so, there's so many people. Oh my! Because <laughs> because there's so many people in the running steady pair, and I heard there is some weird thing where they're having trouble with the medals, but I honestly don't know. So don't don't come for uh. me. Well, last season's medals Running. were amazing. They're done by Rusky Dew, and I think, yeah. Um, and I was able to get one because I, because Smith's was awesome and <laughs> gave me one since I cast a couple of matches. And they are so cool, and people in pubs would be like, what's that? Because, you know, less than 100 people have it um, from first season. Or, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, numbers. Not many people have the Ready, Steady, Pan thing. <laughs> um, 
when so so I get to brag about it and then share the love about uh, RSP, which should be starting soon. We have almost everybody in here. Uh, people are warming up. Bowser is um, looking pretty fly with his wizard's hat and then <laughs> his uh, glasses. Let's let's talk hats for a second. Do you th- see anything right, fantastic? I kinda... Well, I don't even know what it's called, but the hat that Skizzer's wearing, it reminds me of Scarecrow from Batman. He, like, oh, totally. he honestly looks evil. He's just been practicing jumping this entire time, but there's some crazy ones going on. Yeah, I uh, would not want to meet him in even a bright alley, a dark alley, bright alley. just would not want to meet him at all. Uh, no offense. I'm sure he's a nice guy, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sigafu. I'm sure you're fly. so nice, but you look terrified. Like, <laughs> I don't think there's a good way about going about that. <laughs> well, that's, that's what I was like. Um, we do have our final person joining up, so I guess we'll get on to um, official things. So remember, our teams are Bit Trippers and In Your Pants. Uh, I'm going to say In Your Pants sometime today. <laughs> I, right. I'm just waiting for it to happen. <laughs> Feel free to call me out when it does happen. In Your Pans is number one seed in this competition. They came in with a record of 8-3. and three, But uh, in Ready City Pan, there's also points. Um, and um, they had a higher point uh, total. So that brought them to uh, seed number one. Because Bit Trippers had a record of 9-2. and two, But they were seed number four. So, a uh, little bit different than uh, how we see scoring go in competitive. But as far as Viaduct or King of the Hill goes, we are will go first to four. Caps will be the winner. And uh, on a tie, Sudden Death. I'm excited about Sudden Death. I want that. I, I, I want that really hope there is Sudden Death. That is going to be the pinnacle of panning. Oh my goodness. That, okay. I, I feel like I should have made a pan pun out of that, but <laughs> my brain. <laughs> not, I, yeah, I should have brainstormed for pan puns. We, um, the panicle? In like a pinnacle, but anyway. Pinnacle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are looking good to go very soon here. Just checking all my um, things. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the music. I don't even know if you guys could have heard it, but uh, there it goes. And uh, ready to be going soon. Let's uh, let's go over rosters. Why don't we? Can you take a blue? You never gave me the rosters, so I can't. It's right there. You press tab. <laughs> Oh well, okay. I thought you. I thought you. Were, I, I didn't. I thought you were going to do something official. All right. No. On blue no. Team, no. On blue team, we have Pulse, who's going to be playing the soldier. It seems like A M L on demo man. Crazy Eureka. What hashtag the? Will ring. That's Erica for those who can uh, read. <laughs> on scout, Sigafu on scout as well. Bob Sevens on demo man and player R S P on soldier. All right, apparently um, AML is inside the server with a ping of 8, 5. Um, Bowser also is inside the server. They're having a LAN or something, and we weren't invited. Anyway, we have Geek as Scout over on uh, In Your Pants Shower is Soldier Bowser is Scout as well. Flame and Tavi are demo men, and Sizer is going to be Soldier as well. So those are our teams. Um... Looks like pretty standard. No pyros, no snipers. I don't know about this no sniper strat. What do you think? Uh, I'm I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, the the Girardi is just so powerful. It's, yeah, you you have to do it. But uh, I I want to see these teams pan out because. All right, that is number two. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I think especially when you have King of the Hill, everybody's going to be going to the central point where one Girardi can cover a potentially six people, and that's huge when you're when you're just dealing melee damage. Uh, so not having that uh, sniper in is um, going to be significant. We'll see if um, they change strategies. We'll definitely see that happen uh, a l- in a lot of the pan matches uh, I've casted where it just completely different roster after the second round or whatever so we'll see again how it pans out but i think sometimes we sometimes should... you have to scramble it up oh <laughs> oh my god cooking puns i like it i had to <laughs> yeah cooking puns uh, all right uh it looks like people are giving shout outs about their own streams sure okay why not um dude, that's, demo... <laughs> that's where it's at <laughs> um shout out again to uh oh, we'll just shout out again to pastry rock um anyone you want to shout out to these teams your team what was your team the Panatics. The Panatics. I, I want to shout out to everyone, the Panatics, but specifically Jufro, Katz, and Pyro. 
Because they were just they they were the cool kids. That's so so sweet. So <laughs> very heartwarming. It looks like oh, we're ready we to go, go live. <laughs> right on time. Excellent. So we're going to watch this rollout. Remember study finals of the ready steady pan match. Months and months of preparation and training and hard work, sweat and blood and pans have culminated in this point as we're watching the rollout right here. Red team, both scouts on the uh, on the point doing a lot of work. And wow, your keyboard is loud, 21. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, well, we, I'll use the other one. Um, <laughs> anyway, we have the blue team doing a lot of good work. They're swarming the point, and they're just kind of trapping these red players in the circle. The soldier jumping away, though, but... It looks like he's going to be chased up. The demo man now taking him out. That's going to be AMC. And that's exactly what you were talking about, going for that health pack. Um, players are going to know where that wounded player is going and be able to target them that much easier. Uh, blue players did, blue team did lose a little, a uh, few more players right there as Red is getting these respawns, so they don't look as dominant as they have, or they did in the beginning of the round. There's so much time on the point, we just have two scouts going at it. We'll see if Crazy Erica can finish it off. She's getting some support from her team. However, Red is just uh, respawning and getting in there and uh, not letting blue have this at all so uh it looks like in your pants definitely definitely want this and that, that's good to see yeah and it looks like a red team coming with like a double jump going up here they're gonna be launching the soldier and it looks like he's gonna crater he cannot shoot the rocket down you know we do have flame on the side he's gonna be caught out by the scouts but somehow still alive i don't know why he's jumping though I, I think he wants a GTFO and go for the help back there in the house. Um, rest of his team is getting good times on the point, but we will have this battle showdown in the house or the pool house uh, with the scout. No, he gets the, all the health right there. That's Sigafu, um, and we'll have a battle on this a battle on the battle mitts. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's just so much happening on. If you thought like sixes or Highlanders confusing, just take out all the weapons and strategy and then you have what he steady pan. Yeah, I've been watching the shower cam and actually he keeps on jumping up on top of the obelisk, <laughs> obelisk and then jumping down. It's, it's an interesting strat. I'm trying to dislodge him, but he just kind of panned him out and skip guy. Now, Red does have a control of the point and a nice defense right there. However, everybody but Bowser is dead. Bowser going to try to get on the point. Takes down AML with a nice hit. Uh, but now he's covered in milk as he tries to defend the point. But now it's three on one. And Bowser needs some support or needs to get out of there right now. He's just doing a good job dodging. Is joined by his fellow scout. But uh, entire uh, bit trippers come in here to... Uh, capture the rest of this point and just everybody's on the point like this is the perfect time for Jurati. I do not understand why no one's running a sniper well we did have some melt around the point but it didn't do a lot of damage we do have this demo man up here on the red team I really want him to succeed because demo man's the best but <laughs> um, see, it looks like he's really low health finally taken down bit player with a double kill so I'm gonna assume he's the <laughs> team captain before getting taken down and Blue does finally recap the point. Erica getting it, uh, but she's going to have to get out of there. She's super, super hurt. Uh, bombing Soldier will come in and try to help her out. Let's get on her. Well, now we have more action going down on the point. Yeah, I've been watching the shower cam yet again. He's just going to be walking up here, and I think he's about to try to jump or something. He's He looks like he's ready to go. Yeah, he's I and the obelisk. And his, the full name, we should uh, definitely say, is Shower with No Lights On. And that sounds scary as hell. <laughs> Anyway, we have Gerardi coming down. Uh, who has gone sniper is the question that is Bowser on red team uh, in your pants. So going for the sniper strat. Finally, I like it. I like it a lot. We'll see if that changes um, the play. They are in the lead right now with only a minute and 20 left on the point to uh, finish off this round. Um, but just there's been constant action on the point. Just uh, oh, neither team is abandoning team. it. Red team just rallying around, but the blue demo man coming in. This could be it as the soldiers... Covered in the milk, oh. he's just gonna smartly jump away. I thought he cratered there, but no, we haven't seen any of that so far. Um, Bob on the point with his pal, the scout, but Sigafu goes down, he goes down, he was really, really hurt right there. Um, they barely did not cap it, uh, and so far, in your pants, still have possession of the point, and time is ticking down, only about 40 seconds left. Blue is gonna get in here and taking down flame, they will be able to cap the point right there, so that. It's got to be a relief for Bit Trippers. I'm going to get yeah, on the... We do have some milk being thrown on the point. The scout going in. He's by himself. The question is, where's the rest of the red team? And he's going to be singled out. Rip yeah. pauses semifinals. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Bowser has gone back to scout, so he didn't like the sniper, which is uh, 
I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. They are doing pretty well right now. Sigafu cornering a demo man in the health pack room. Uh, I forgot about this health pack, duh, of course. But uh, Sigafu getting a 2k right there as he uh, tracks yeah, he's down be his coming in for more. He smells something cooking. What is it? Uh, it's a victory for his team in this <laughs> round, maybe. But uh, wow. Sizer on the point. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's Geek as. Uh, Geek as a uh, sniper right there. The double kill. Yeah, doing some nice work. So he's on sniper for in your pans. Uh, we'll take a we'll keep an eye on him as we only get about 20 seconds left. He's got that Gerardi out. He's just waiting for somebody to bomb in here and then just cover them in his warm yellow urine. I mean, it's got to be warm, right? <laughs> that just that disturbs me so that's, much. That's a little too descriptive. <laughs> These are the things anyway, I think we have about. A giant engagement happening on the point. All these players piling on. Only eight seconds left. Now the soldier jumping in, he's going to be going for the health. He has to put a stop to this, though, or the blue team will get the capture. And no, AML going to be taking him out. So a nice rally right there from Bit Trippers Coming back uh, to overpower Red. They took a lot of casualties right there. And then, as you said, Sizer couldn't do it alone and was taken out. So uh, now we'll see if they can hold it for a minute and 30. Going to be very, very difficult. Uh, watch him. Flame came in here, and he gets uh, behind the team, and nobody knows he's there. Uh, we'll be able to take out maybe this demo man if he can find him. Um, but it looks like... Um, no, I'm sorry. Never mind. I lost track of who's This who. is just... <laughs> This is just amazing to watch. Flame with a double kill, though. Skizzard getting taken down. Can Flame get the triple? He's going... No! He's gonna... <laughs> Tabby's actually gonna be taken down. Flame is still alive, though. Trying to get Bob here. Uh, it's gonna be a battle to the last breath. Oh! And in comes Bowser. <laughs> finishing off... Uh, finishing off Bob right there. Takes away all the glory from Flame. But, uh... There we go. Red will recap the point. Of course, it was in overtime. So, in your pants... In your pans, <laughs> win the first round. Of course, in your pans, probably going to need a break as they have to do their celebratory Congo line after that victory, but it looks like they've already done it and they're ready to roll out the point. Now, did you know that Bowser has a master's in panography? Really? Yeah, uh, I, uh, I hear this was his lifelong dream to lead a pan team to a semifinal, so it's got to be a big moment for him today. Yeah, I mean, he's been blasting, uh, according to his team, he's been playing Let's Get Down to Business, that Disney song, constantly for the past few months while they've been practicing. Meanwhile, we do have the scout coming on the point, kidding the sniper, the sniper coming out by the blue team, doing a lot of work so far. Bowser just doing a great job staying alive, just hitting people and then running away, which is so annoying from a scout, but uh, still alive and still kind of poking onto this point. Nobody has captured mid yet. Blue does have a lot of time in there, a lot of players on there, but Bowser's going to come in here, show what he can do with that Masters of Education, and will succeed in defending this point. Scout uh, demo on the point is covered in milk, and Bowser helping take out Bob right there. Although, yeah, I think Bowser got the kill out for that, so Red will revert that cap, and maybe just maybe in your pants will be able to take this mid it looks like they're stacking enough so they should get the capture before blue comes out but often it's you gotta win two mid fights to get it just <laughs> the soldiers are spamming rockets yeah. at each other um tell, tell me the why why that of course the rockets are not gonna do any damage why why spam it's all it's all mind games i know <laughs> I've, I've actually scared somebody before with uh, sticky jumpers stickies so you know what what can help you might all as right. well all right. Uh, Pulse is jumping in there, getting nice kill on Geek. Uh, Sigafu taking out Tabby right there. Red player is just bleeding on the point as Blue will come back. And Bit Trippers, oh, maybe able to take this Pulse right now. Engaged, oh, in the pool room. He will not get the health and will not survive this. Oh, okay. we do have the Red Scout trapped on the side. He's going to get cut off. He's trying to get the health. No, no. He finally picked it up, but the two Scouts going after him. He does have the milk on them, but no. Erica and Sigafu just too powerful. Meanwhile, the rest of the red team is controlling the capture point. Going to be piling on there. They're covered in Gerardi and milk. All sorts of liquids right now. Can't be pleasant. Uh, Crazy Erica getting there and doing a lot of damage. And wow, uh, red will probably not survive this altercation. Uh, Gerardi and milk does wear off. So maybe, just maybe, Tavi will get out of this alive. Uh, he does get some health. But... Uh, this engagement doesn't look good for in he's, your pants. He's going to come in from behind, though, and maybe do some damage. But no, he got covered in milk and singled out by the scouts. Again, the two scouts working as a team is really powerful on these Game of the Hill maps. 
Definitely. Oh, man, the, the shrieks of the scouts. I think I need to find some way just to mute that sound because I hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> just so, so uh, agonizing screams. It's too much, too much. But we do have Paul stuck in the water, and he's going to be taken down by Sizer. Sizer the Scarecrow from Batman. Pretty sure that's what he does in of the off-season of Ready, Steady, Pan, um, which is about one month. <laughs> not a whole lot of off season. Not a whole lot to time. <laughs> not a whole lot of time to rest your your pan arm. Sizer are engaging in the pool again. Um, who is in there with him? It's impossible to tell as they're all covered. Um, but it looks like it was Sigafu, and he did go down. As he I'm going to be jumping on the geek cam. He's on the point. He wants to take down the sniper, but he's afraid of the Drotty. It looks like he's finally going to go in. Nice double slam to be taken down. Uh, no pressure. And uh, look out, there's a devil man and a scout no jumping on. I'm not quite sure if he knows where anyone is. He's just kind of sp spinning around and then taken out. Now, Geek uh, went pyro right there. So, um, hmm, thoughts? Just wanted the more health. Because oh, yeah. as a scout, when you take like two, like three hits and you're gone, it's, it's a little bit obnoxious. You kind of, you might just rage and be like, all right, I want to be able to take more. <laughs> oh, it's such a good oh, idea that heavies are not allowed. We did have a great Jurati by the sniper, but it got taken down, like, instantly. But, you know, he's helping out his team. Looks like Blue might be able to take this, though. Uh, Blue's gotta do something. That's Bit Trippers, as In Your Pants uh, has had control of this for a long time. Only about 30 seconds left for them. Uh, Bit Trippers coming in, trying to cap it, but, uh, oh, Flame are trying to get in there. Not going to be able to. Sizer is one against four, and he will not do it. So Bit Trippers will get the point, but they've got two minutes and 15 seconds to hold. And... To hold that long for on a defense when you only have melee is quite the challenge. Yeah, of course. We do have Sigma Fu, though, on a double kill, and I really want to see him level that up to, like, a quadruple or something. Going to be jumping on his camera, seeing what he can do here on this point. Sometimes hard to connect with those faster classes, and that is why I hate melee. Uh, did get a hit right there on his opposing scout, um, and finally Geek is finished off, so he's back on scout right there. Sigafu still going strong, actually, uh, so doing a nice job at defending this point here. It looks like he's going to be stealing the enemy team's health pack, which is really fun to do in Pan. <laughs> Flame with a nice kill right there on AML and another night or an assist right there. Doing a good job taking back the point. Only 20 seconds left for In Your Pans once they do get control of the point. But uh, already almost a minute has gone by for Bit Trippers. So they are still in this, still fighting, still clutch, clutching that pan in their hand. By the way, all of them are right handed. Interesting to know. Yeah, that, that's, you know, it's the way of the future. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, we do have Simafu going in with the help of Erika. He's got one kill so far, so that's going to bring his tally up to a triple. He's just been running back and forth to these health packs, though. Like I said, the scouts, such low damage, such low health, I mean. It, you just can't take that many hits. Oh, we do have a three on one. There's three red on one blue player. Sigafu can withstand it. Goes down on the point as red is just trying desperately to recap because there is only 40 seconds left for Bit Trippers to hold on here. And it is getting close. Can you feel the heat? In the kitchen. I can. Uh, yeah. In the kitchen? Yeah, we're in the kitchen with pans or something like that. Um, but they. That was a great joke. I know. Um, <laughs> All right, anyway, we have Tavi going to be on the point trying to defend solo. The rest of his team, not really sure where they are. He's Only defending against the seconds ghosts left. of the pan, just swinging at nobody right there. Suddenly, Blue gets these response, and everybody is on this point. We're in overtime for Red. Uh, we'll see if they can get on the point, but they're just dying. The Blue is doing a great job beating oh them God. off. Blue oh, wow. With the comeback, two red players still in the map in the pawn room. They're going to be coming out now. Can Red get the recapture? That is the question. We do have the scout going in. He's the only one left. And it looks like he's going to be running for his life. We're going to get that health. That's Bowser again. Uh, we'll see if he can do this. They just need to take on one player at a time. They can't focus on the point right now. Uh, if Bit Trippers uh, defended for 19 more seconds, they will win this. Uh, remember, In Your Pants is uh, up 1-0 so far. Yeah, it looks like the blue team utterly wrecking on this point, but it's really hard to tell with the pan. If the red team gets this, they will win the round. Come on, you can do it. As we have time to getting a double kill. It's only the soldier left for the blue team and the scout. They're coming in. Who's going to win? Skizzer with the kill on that one. Finally taking out Sigma Fu. Red team's going to get the capture. They're going to win the game. Wow. <laughs> just kidding, just the round. Close, close right there. 
Oh, wow. Uh, just those respawn times really saved in your pants. And is it Skizzer? Have I been saying Sizer? I've, I could be saying it completely wrong. He can yell at us after right. the cast if he wants. That sounds good. Whoops, and I just hit my mic. That's, that's also good. Super Pro here and <laughs> casting Ready Steady Pan. Uh, I'm watching the Pulse Cam, and he's just actually going for the battlements right now. He and the Demo Men have gone and just taken the health from the enemy's uh, side of the map. So that's definitely one strat to pursue. Uh, control those health packs, you control the world, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Meanwhile, AML just got a double kill. I really want to see him bring it up even more. We do have Pulse getting trapped, though. Oh. He's going to be knocked into the corner before it subsequently panned to do it death. <laughs> uh, I'm getting word that it's actually just Scissor, uh, is how you say his name. Like a pair of scissors, apparently. Who knew? Oh, huh. some nice kills. Great Erica and AML taking down Tavi and Scissor as they were on the point. Here comes one more demo, man. Man, they will just not die and leave. Um, Red is just getting these respawns. Remember, nobody has kept the point yet. Uh, in your pants, trying desperately, but there's so much time on it for Bit Trippers, and Bit Trippers finally, finally get that cap. Yeah, as you previously mentioned about the snipers, it looks like both teams have switched to one sniper, and uh, now we're going to be seeing that Girardi come into play. Yeah, definitely. Who I think the, the story will be who can uh, deploy it best will win this match. Uh, Tavi going down on the point was outnumbered right there. Um, so Roddy, Girardi coming down, but going out nowhere, and that's really going to be the key. You have to you can't just throw the Girardi because of the respawn time. Uh, you gotta you gotta really think about oh, what the best placement for that Girardi will be. And it looks like we have the red sniper actually trying to chase down the blue soldier. Of course, with that rocket jumper, he's just going to be a pest and be jumping behind him and just. <laughs> the sniper just wants to chase him, but he can't. I think he just gave up. Pulse got that uh, health pack, and then uh, is jumping onto the board right now. It's three on one, though, so this is a pretty ballsy move. He does have the enemy team covered in milk, but no, he's not going to be able to take it out. And Red so close to capping right now. Uh, about two minutes left for Bit Trippers, um, but it looks like, yes, In Your Pants will be able to come back and cap this. But a minute gone for Bit Trippers. Remember, they are down 2-0. We will go to four caps for the winner. And uh, if sudden death happens, or if over, over time, tie happens, then we will go to sudden death, which sounds fabulous, I think. I, w I would say so. It looks like we had a red soldier jumping behind the blue team, trying to stuff them in their spawn. And uh, that's going to be Scissor. He was actually doing a very good job as uh, if you can shut them down and lock them into their spawn, you can just slowly <laughs> wind down that clock, as you can see. It's now 2 minutes and 20 seconds by the time these blue players finally arrive here. AML trying to get in here. Uh, spots out the demos, decided to take him out, getting a couple good pans on him, but uh, AML only's got 10 health left and gets uh, cratered right there. Craters himself, I guess, but he is out. <laughs> His attempts are futile. It looks like the blue team now swarming the point. Erica going to be leading the charge, going after the soldier covered in Jurati right away. That's how you have to do it. That's and it. And insisting on the other one. Just the sniper left and Erica. Who's going to win the battle? The, oh, the demo man coming up to assist. The Jurati goes down, but it's too late. AML going to be taking down Bowser there. And a nice a little mid-fight right there from Erica, and then she got some support from her team. Um, Bob going to try to get in there now as we have two demo men from Red uh, ruining this blue capture, and they haven't got it yet. So, so close, and that's been pretty much the story. Finally, they do get it. Uh, all these caps have been getting so close, and then just somewhere, somebody comes out of nowhere and stops the cap. Uh, pretty ridiculous. I would say so. That's... Oh my god, we have Tavi behind enemy lines, and he's he and the sniper are going to be combining takedown Pulse. I have no idea what Pulse was doing all the way over there. But uh, looks like now Tavi has to run back and try to collect some health. Yeah, and they lost the point, or they had don't have the point, but they're only about... Times are about even, so it's about a minute 30 left for both. Tavi took a ton of damage, will not be able to survive that 13 health, despite the fact that there was milk on the point. Geek going down as well, so Red Team had a little bit of a disadvantage as they try to come back and take this point. Uh, player advantages? Numbers? Do you play that game when, you, when you're playing pans? <laughs> uh, honestly, what I do in pan is <laughs> you gotta go in all the time. <laughs> we do have scissors sitting up on the tower waiting, but honestly, if, if, if all your team drops, you just have to go in and try to do the glory 4K or whatever it is, <laughs> the multi-kill. <laughs> Which is absolutely possible. The pan is a magical weapon. Um, 
Yeah, it's just magical. Uh, we do have only about 40 seconds left for Bit Trippers to hold on to this point, so they're looking pretty good right now. Now, Red just did, did just get the respawn, so they have full health. Uh, and uh, losing a little bit of players right there, so we got 30 seconds left. Uh, Blue has to play this very carefully. They can't die, obviously. But, oh, but all of the red players are covered in Mel. Singafu going to be going in. He's trying to do it. Gets one. No, that's going to be Bob actually getting the one pan there. Bob just going on an utter terror. Only the demo man left. I do not think he's going to survive. He doesn't manage to take down Erica, though, but Paul's going to be coming in. Singafu, it's two on two on the point. Who is going to capture this? The demo man now coming in. And I feel like the blue team is going to be able to hold this successfully. But they still got a lot of time there. In your pants is just getting these respawns. We'll see how quickly that blue uh, can hold on and get that little carrot of red out of the picture. Uh, once they do, they will win this round. And that's exactly what they need to get back into this game. Almost there. Still in overtime. <laughs> <laughs> It took the blue team about an entire minute to take down Tabby there, as they all kept on punching each other, hitting each other with those pants, interestingly <laughs> enough. <laughs> and it's still in overtime right here. That little uh. carrot of red will not go away, as blue is having a hard time staying alive. They're chasing people who are not on the point. No, you just got to focus on the point right now. This is this is about capping the point, and uh, I think they've got their eyes off the prize and red is uh, now making them pay uh as in your pants is maybe gonna come back and take this we're still in uh, overtime and it's absolutely it's ridiculous. very possible we still have the soldier jumping up on the obelisk oh. there but he's gonna be jumping for his life pulse not great ring surprisingly enough red team now in control blue oh it's man up to you to try to capture i think that's the longest overtime i've ever seen i think <laughs> pretty crazy right here so uh, ball is in uh, the bit drippers court uh, as I have about a minute to capture it uh, once they do of course they will win the round if they do that is but uh, red has full players right now and uh, of course really really hurt but that is always the case when you're talking about hand tournament uh, and they're doing a good job controlling the point right here. AML trying to get in there, going down. Right now they do have the numbers, so when every, whenever anyone from Blue bombs in, they can just swarm and, uh, you know, club him to death. Which, when you say it like that, it sounds weird. <laughs> but a, a little bit. But, uh, I don't know, it seems like Red Team is getting a very, very good use of these health packs. As I saw right there, all of the Blue players dropped, and the second they were sure all the Blue players were gone, it seemed like all of them fell back, got health from different areas of the map. But now, all these red players falling, their health is so low, and, uh, oh, but it looks like only the Blue Scout, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do it. Yeah, we got, uh, Blue Scout still behind the lines, uh, AML trying to get in there, not able to do so. Gets taken out. We only have five seconds left, but we do still have uh, the two scouts, Erica and Sigafu. No, crazy Erica goes down. Uh, Sigafu is still here, and we're going to go into double overtime, which is why <laughs> King of the Hill is awesome. And whoever yeah. stays alive the longest is definitely going to win this. Oh, and it's going to be in your pants. Wow. Team, in your pants. What a comeback. Three. What a comeback right there. So we are 3 0. Oh, in your pants is in the lead. Not only really in your pants, they're in the lead. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> uh, what are some of the better pan t named teams you, you've come across? I don't even know. There, there's so many pan names that are just amazing. It, it's hard to like separate any of them, you know? Oh, uh, we still. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. This is engagement <laughs> on mid. Uh, we'll talk about that when we have some downtime, of course. There's never any downtime in pan land, though. Uh, I think Electric Pan Orchestra was probably my favorite. Uh, just throwing that out there. <laughs> Shout out to them. <laughs> Sing so going down to the port after he gets scissored right there. Only blue is alive. Uh, get two players on here. And uh, three on one now. And uh, Bit Trippers have really started to get, really got to be feeling it now. They were so, so close last round and losing it. And now going down 3 0 is, is, that's pretty uh, demoralizing right there. So they have. Got to win this first um, first mid fight, which is taking you know about ten minutes. Uh, you no, know, it's it's a standard amount of time. We do have a uh, the red team though, kind of. They're just all staying in such good health. The blue team is running in. They're taking way too many hits, and it looks like the scout gonna be chasing down the other one. Maybe no, he's gonna be going back to defend the point and taking on Signifu. It looks like. 
And red getting on the point in your pants will get that cap. And oh, I don't know about this. Blue really, really needed to come out there strong at mid, and they were just being outplayed uh, by in your pants, uh, who are possibly feeling a lot of confidence right now going up 3 0. They, uh,. They're willing to take some risks now and be even more aggressive, I guess, than they have been in the past, but uh, I don't know if it's possible. These teams are pretty aggressive as they get as it goes. Yeah, I'd start to turn up the aggression on a melee weapon, but it looks like Bob7 has been doing that as he just got a double kill. We do have Erica here. Can, will she go in? She's throwing the milk, going right after the sniper. The double scout's coming in yet again. The red scout trying to defend. He's going to be smacked into the ditch down there, and Sigma Fu cleaning up. So blue team might be able to get the capture. Yeah, red coming just one by one on the point, and that's exactly what you can't do. You gotta go in pairs like Noah's Ark. Uh, finally, they do get more than one red player on the point, uh, and in your pants will stop the cap of Bit Trippers, but now it's just one Pyro versus three, and down goes Geek. So Bit Trippers will be able to cap this, and they gotta hold on for three minutes. Hold on for your dear could life. Be a really long time to hold. We do have all these red players kind of coming in from weird angles. I know there's a scout hanging out in the pond for a while. And it looks like now they're going to be jumping on, trying to get some capture, but that Mad Melk coming in, causing some problems. Bob77's seven getting a kill on Geek right there, coming in from behind a flank, I guess you could say. <laughs> He's kind of like a shark lurking. <laughs> oh, but another nice kill right there, taking out Flame. So Bob on a, a little bit of a roll right here. We did have Scissor on top of the Spire, taunting the blue team, and oh. then he dropped down and got a pan mid-drop. But uh, <laughs> Paul's going to be falling to his death, <laughs> trying to chase down Tavi there. I'm really sad I missed that on camera, but uh, Bob <laughs> now taking on Tavi. Tavi came in and was out, uh, played right there. As Bob gets the health though, he's going to survive this, and with uh, Crazy Erica take down Flame, so Blue does lose the point, but they have everybody up still. And it looks like they're using their player advantage to, uh, you know, to good effect right here. The red soldiers are jumping out of the way. That's the, just the problem with the pan is all these players are so mobile. They can just kind of run away whenever they want. We do have all those people being trapped in the corner. The scout, Bowser, barely surviving, but he's going to be grabbing the health and just be fine. Now red still has control of the point, even though blue has a ton of time on it. They finally get all of uh, uh, In Your Pants off the point. Nope, Bowser is there to <laughs> oh, stop it for Bowser. a little bit. He did uh, finally go down. And uh, the Trippers now with two minutes on the clock left to tick down. Yeah, we see Scissor coming out of spawn though, and it's really I really want to see him go like full tilt, just bacon and egg status on these players. We do have him going up to the Spire yet again, though. It's just... It's such oh, but a there's going to be a pan oh, battle on the top of it! Oh, oh, Blisk. Oh. Uh, Sizer, or Scissor backs off <laughs> as he's trying to... Uh, it could have been really epic there, but... Uh, but uh, alas, it was not meant to be. I've, I've been waiting to see an air pan, and it has not happened. That's That will be the glory that, moment. That is... Yes, I think I'll retire when that we do, happens. We do have Scissor going for some spawn camping. Now look, he's going to be hiding up on this ledge, not able to land it. The blue player is coming out. He's running for his life. What is he doing? He's, it looks like he might be safe. Nope. Okay, he's going to get back to the health just fine. <laughs> In theory, at least, he's still got to get that health. Run into a sniper who just emerged from the water, doesn't know he's there. Uh, we'll see. A red, they're still controlling the point. 55 seconds left, and this is do or die time right now for Bit Trippers. Uh, remember, it is 3 0. We go to four caps, and uh, despite how close this has been, it's it's 3 0, and Bit Trippers haven't gotten any points. Oh, man. It's, it's always a tough t <laughs> it's always a tough mental state when you're when you're down something. Oh, it's just ugh. no one likes being dominated. So, call it now here 21. Do you think uh, Bit Trippers will be able to come back? I, I really hope they can, but it's it's just hard to call. I mean, they've been fairly even. It's always been a close game, so you never know. Yeah, we're going to go about but. 15 seconds left, and uh, Red is doing a great job just keeping Bit Trippers away from the point. Uh, Flame is just off the point, just keeping everyone away. The two scouts are on right now, so we'll see if Crazy Erica and Sigafu can do anything. Crazy Erica goes down. They're joined by the demo man, Bob. Uh, he is outnumbered, though. Four to one. He is giving it his best. He's giving How us he all. How but he survived so long? Wow, so oh. there we go. GG. Uh, in your pants, we'll take it. Um,
Taking a look at the scores real quick, uh, Bowser with 81 points <laughs> as scouts. Wow. Some nice work right there. Bowser carrying, well, not necessarily carrying, carrying his team. They were both, they were all really good. It's just, with that many points, it's just kind of ridiculous how that happened. Yeah, and you can see all the other points are pretty much even, but just Bowser, uh, yeah, really taking it right there. Um, got some pretty hefty pings, though, over on blue. So let's, uh, they can always blame the, uh, blame the loss on the ping. <laughs> Blame it on the lag. <laughs> and we have we are the champions as uh oh who changed their name. But uh that's that's a pretty good one. But you got one oh. more one more game to play. Um that will be next week. It is going to be cost pro viaduct and hopefully someone will be able to bring it to you hopefully that someone is us because uh i had a lot of fun with you 21 thanks so much for joining me um well, once again shout out to pastry rock who is organizer of all this awesomeness it is pandemonium of of pans uh any other last thoughts 21 uh no i just thought it was it was a very entertaining game even though it went 4-0 it was just it was always a close game, and I was really happy at how it turned out. I was glad to be watching. Yeah, definitely. Well played from uh, from Bit Trippers. Um, too bad the score doesn't reflect the the effort and uh, they put in there. Uh, but that is life. Uh, Panty Raid is uh, somebody's <laughs> contribution <laughs> for pan related or pan puns related uh, to the names. Anyway, so that we'll just end High on five. that Panty Raid. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys.